John Hamm, it's good to see you again, my friend. Good to see you. You're shrinking before my eyes. Ah, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Diet and exercise. There you go. That's the secret. We get to talk about The Minions, and I've seen it. It's fantastic. Oh, good. I'm glad you liked it. I like it, too. I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a cliche to say it's fun for the whole family, but it's actually fun for the whole family. Like, uh, if you're old, you're going to laugh at it. If you're young, you're going to laugh at it for completely different reasons. And then there's the perfect, like, middle part that will laugh at it, too. What do you think we can learn from The Minions? It actually just popped in my mind talking about them. Um, you know, I think we all have our, our roles to play, maybe. Um, but I think the greatest thing about the Minions, and I think my character, Herb, shares this uh, with them, is that the kind of love of a good time and, and, and total positivity, almost too much positivity to where it gets them in trouble and, and they're, they forget what they're supposed to be doing and in the pursuit of having fun. Um, and I think that that's, that, but that's leading with the positive, I think, is generally what they, they do. And sometimes that works for them and sometimes it doesn't, but it's always funny and fun. Animation has got, I'm so jealous of you, by the way, working in animation, you've done voice stuff before, but now obviously, you know, working on a film like The Minions, is it just, does your mentality go in like different as far as like other types of acting? Yes and no. I mean, obviously, you have a lot more freedom because you're not, you, you know, you're not constrained by your your phys physicality. You can you can play a monster or a dragon or a little yellow man or whatever you you know, a crazy skinny guy with a crazy long nose. The fun part for me of of coming in and, and working on a film like this was watching the thing evolve, because we get brought in fairly early in the process, and they have storyboards and they have you know, uh, two dimensional art that they can show you. But as you come in and read the lines and start working on the lines and working with the writer and working with the director, there's animation happening you know, behind the scenes. So you start to see that come into the studio as well and you watch this movie kind of grow up around you as you, as you are reading the lines for it. And it's really, really fascinating. 